This is the Caban Wind Tower Complex, which now covers what was once a thriving and highly biodiverse ecosystem, located on the southern Atherton Tablelands of North Queensland. Just recently, the Caban Wind Factory has been on sold by its former owners, Neowen, a French company, to Brookfield, a Canadian global asset manager overseeing approximately $1 trillion in assets. The fast tracking of this industrial scaled energy transition down the remnant forests of the high elevation ranges of Queensland raises important questions about the future of these valuable intact refugia forests. I decided to visit the base of one wind turbine just recently to see if there really is bird and bat deaths as many claim. The discoveries I made were truly alarming. The harsh reality is I found a little red flying fox bat severely injured with fatal spinal injuries. Wildlife carers retrieved this bat after I discovered it, but it had to be euthanised. How many bats fall to the ground and die a slow death? At this one turbine base that I visited, carcasses lay motionless. A northern free-tail bat, a white striped free-tail bat, a yellow-bellied sheath-tail bat and a Pacific Swift. The Pacific Swift is a migratory bird that we are supposed to protect under international migratory bird agreements, such as the Bonn Convention. Wind towers now introduce a new threat for these high elevation flying birds and bats. The Pacific Swift, for example, glides at an altitude of three to 400 meters. These species have no chance whatsoever. Why should our wildlife have to pay the ultimate price for the ambitions of global giants who owe no allegiance to our country? These chilling incidents reveal the stark reality of mortality from just one turbine during a single inspection. With another 41,000 turbines set to rise across Australia's land and sea, the future for our birds, bats and countless vulnerable and endangered wildlife looks increasingly bleak. Believe it or not, there's been no proper study done ever on impacts to birds and bats in an Australian tropical forest context. More recently, evidence is showing that low frequency sound is masking the mating cause of koalas and perhaps even all species of amphibians. This comprehensive research is yet to be done by anyone. The death and destruction of critical habitats and the lives they cradle is not climate action, it's plunder. Australia's biodiversity matters. Our wildlife matters. This destruction must stop before it's all gone.